Stimbald here, and you're here to learn how to cap your frames outside of New World. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go into the settings, go to visuals, and then scroll down until you find max FPS and set that to uncapped. Now, if you have a monitor that's only 60 hertz refresh rate, you're probably better off just leaving it at 60 frames per second, capped. But if you have a monitor that can go over 60 hertz and you have a video card that can give you more than 60 frames per second in New World, then you're definitely gonna wanna follow this guide. Real quick, I'm gonna show you my settings. I've got a 2080 Ti. I use 70 field of view because I want a PVP. I use a 1440p uh, resolution. And I like to set effects lighting, water, and shadow details to medium. I put everything else to high except textures I make very high. This is a really good setting for me. I usually get 100 plus frames per second just running around the world. And the reason I set it to low during a war is there's a lot of people, there's a lot of effects that are stacking on top of each other, and really you're going to want to have the most frames per second possible when you're in a war. Another thing to mention here is you're going to want to turn V-Sync off if you have a G-Sync monitor like I do. So that's pretty much it. Those are the settings that, that you will make if you're in war mode. You set everything to low depending on your video card and your resolution you may want to set this all to very high high medium or low but for me personally with my 2080 ti and with my testing i found that effects can be kind of expensive lighting details mm, somewhat expensive shadows always very expensive in games and then water somewhat and always pump your textures high you can also set your nameplate count lower and this will help with performance a little bit i set mine to 12 it seemed to be a, a sweet spot so now let's jump out of the game now that we've set our max fps to uncapped we will go to nvidia control panel if you don't know how to get there go to search in the start menu type nvidia and click NVIDIA Control Panel. When you're in NVIDIA Control Panel, click Change Resolution. Then select the monitor that you plan to use when you're playing New World. And here you will see the native resolution, which is 1440p, and the refresh rate. If your monitor cannot go above 60 hertz, then again, don't bother doing any of these steps. Just cap yourself at 60 FPS in the game's software. But if it goes above 60 hertz like mine does, then you'll want to follow these steps. So take note, 165 hertz refresh rate. Go to Manage 3D Settings. Click on the Program Settings tab. You can also set things globally, but I typically will do it based on the program. You should be able to find New World in the dropdown if it's installed already, or you can add it and direct to the Steam Common folder where New World is. Then you're going to scroll down and you're going to find Max Frame Rate. Click this dropdown, select On, and then again, we're matching the maximum refresh rate of our monitor, which is 165. Then you hit apply. Okay, so now my max frame rate is 165 and it's managed not by the New World game, it's managed by my graphics cards control panel, which is actually far superior in many cases to just let your graphics card limit the frame rate. Don't let the software, which is sometimes unoptimized. So yeah, basically 165 max frame rate needs to match the monitor that you plan to use. In my case, it's an ROG Swift. The refresh rate of 165 here matches the frame rate of 165 there. And that's pretty much it. The reason that you're doing this is you don't want your graphics card working harder than it needs to. You're not going to get any benefit of having more frames above your monitor's refresh rate. And then all of the other resources on your computer can be used. Maybe you're recording locally in OBS Studio, and then you're going to upload those videos to YouTube. Maybe you're streaming and you need those extra resources. I consider doing this, especially if you're a content creator. It allows you to use those extra resources for something else while you're playing New World. All right. Thanks, guys.